Hello guys and welcome back to Treso Digital. Today we're learning how to make Google Forms public for everyone. Making your Google Form public has some great benefits. By making your form public, you can reach more people, make it easier for people to find and access your form, and even increase the responses rate. Public forms are also shareable, meaning you can quickly and easily spread the word about your form to get more responses. While making a Google Form is fairly straightforward, you need to take a few extra steps if you want to make your Google Form public. This video will provide easy to follow instructions on making your Google Form public, so anyone can access it. So, let's go and make your form available to the world. Before we begin, it's essential to understand what it means to make your Google Form public. If you make your Google Form public for responses, anyone with the link can view and submit responses to your form. If you make it public for collaborators, anyone with the link can view, edit it, and submit responses. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be focusing on making form public for responses, as this is likely what you want to do. And here are the steps. Step 1. Open your Google Form settings. Firstly, you'll want to navigate to Google Forms. Once there, you'll need to either create a form from your scratch or choose an existing form to make it public. We'll create a new form by clicking blank. After opening the form, you want to make it public, toggle to the Google Forms Settings tab. Click Settings and it will open options that help you manage how to the responses are collected. This will be important to make sure the form can be public. Step 2. Ensure limit to one response is off. To make a form public, you must ensure that the limit to one response option is turned off. This is under the responses section of settings. When this option is turned on, the users must sign into Google Forms to use and respond to the form, which means that the form is not public. Turning it off will ensure that everyone can see your Google Form without signing into Google Forms. When this setting is turned off, it's going to look like this. Within the Responses category in the Settings tab, there is another setting you would lean to turn off, Collect Email Addresses. When this option is on, users must provide their email addresses when responding to your form. Even if this option is turned on, your form can still be public. However, turning this off ensures anyone can fill out your form regardless of if they want to provide an email address or not. Step 3. Send or share your Google Form Now that your form is public, you must share it with the world to attract responses. To share your Google Form, you can start by sending it and here's how to do it. Find and click send button on the form you want to share. Doing this will open a pop-up window like this. Here you can see all the options for sharing your form with someone. The first and the most commonly used method is via email. When this option is selected, you simply have to provide the email addresses of the people you want to share the Google form with. The second option for sharing your form is more appropriate if your form is public. This is through a link. You can copy that link and paste it anywhere for the form to be accessible. The hyperlink is the form long, so Google provides an option to shorten URL for ease. You can even make the link a QR code that can be scanned. Embedding into a web page is a third option for sharing your Google form. If the form is public, any user can access and respond to the form as they scroll on your site. How to test if your Google form is public. Now that you have gone through the steps to make your Google Form public, you may wonder if there is a way to verify that your form is public. To test your form, press the second button on the toggle to the URL tab and copy it. Open a browser where you will not be automatically signed into your Google Form. You can also open an incognito tab. Now, pass the copied link into the URL field. This should open your form without requiring a sign-in. However, if you have not successfully made your form public, you will see a pop-up window requiring a sign-in. If this pops up, go back to your form and double-check that you turned off the right settings. 
things to keep in mind when making a Google Form public. While making a Google Form public is easy, there are a couple of things to be mindful of that will ensure the success of your form. How to make the form public but not editable. As mentioned already, there are two ways in which a user may interact with your form. As a respondents or collaborators, respondents can view your form and provide their responses. However, they cannot edit the form or view other responses. Collaborators, on the other hand, can edit the form and responses. You can add collaborators to a form by clicking on the More Options button and selecting Add Collaborators. After clicking this, another window will open where you can enter the email of the people you want as collaborators to your form. You should ensure that the Google Form is access set to restricted, which means the only people you grant access can edit the form. Selecting the other option, anyone with a link, will grant the editor access anyone with a short form of the URL and make your form publicly editable. Giving editor to access to everyone should now not be done in almost all cases. Remember, you can stop accepting responses anytime. When you make a form public, you can expect to get a lot of responses. However, if you reach the limit of responses you need, there is a simple way to stop receiving responses immediately. Go to the Responses tab in your Google Form. Here, you will see that the Accepting Responses setting is turned on. To stop receiving responses, turn it off and the form will stop being available for responses. You may even enter a custom message to display when someone tries to respond after you stopped accepting report or response. The reason you want to learn how to make Google Form public is that you want to collect as many responses as possible. These responses can come from different sources including people you don't know. So, now that you've made your form public, you need to learn how to publish your Google Form for free so that people can find it and fill it up. The usual methods of doing this include emailing it to everyone you know, posting it on your socials, and even sharing it through SMS or WhatsApp to all the numbers that you have. And that's it guys, as easy as that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye for now.